What's going on guys? I'm over here at A-Class Sounds in Spring Lake Park, Minnesota. I'm in their Trailblazer right now. It's got 16 SA-10s in here on about 8,000 watts. Today I'm going to be doing a unboxing of the new Sundown Audio SA 2.75 FR V2 speakers. So stay tuned. Sundown Audio SA 2.75 FR V2. The FR basically stands for full range on these types of speakers. Uh, the V1s, I believe uh, they, they discontinued those, I think, gosh, like a year and a half to two years ago. But uh, now they came out with these and we've been excited ever since. They're like 55 bucks. I mean, that's, that's cheap. I mean, anybody should be trying these out. If you have like a Toyota, a Chrysler product, um, I think even hell, even some Fords, these things will fit in. 55 bucks, you gotta try them. They're 30 watts RMS each. So sometimes manufacturers will do an RMS rating per driver. Sometimes they will do it for the set. So you gotta kinda watch out on that, but these ones are 30 RMS each. They're meant to play from 160 hertz up to 20 kilohertz. Um, so you might be able to run these on like say an aftermarket radio that only has about 12 watts RMS, practically full range, like 80 hertz up. But if you're gonna give them the full 30 watts, play them in that range, that 160 to, two, uh, to 20,000. Inside the box here, you're gonna immediately get hit with some templates which is really nice. Gives you the mounting holes for each side. Get yourself some mounting hardware, it looks like. Just basic speaker mounting hardware. All right. These things are chunky. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I'd want to say some Toyotas, these might, because of the size of the motor, they might be tight. Um, I don't have, I don't have a Toyota here to show you, otherwise I would, but I think it might be tight based off this motor size and hitting that vent as it goes in the dash. But almost any Chrysler, these will probably just slide right in. Basic terminals that you get on pretty much any speaker, any 2.75 inch speaker or three inch speaker, you get these types of terminals. It's got a metal stamped basket. So it's gonna be nice and strong. Looks like those tinsels up in here. I don't know if you can see that or not. They're really close to the actual cone. So you might run into some, if you try to play these things full, full range and give them like 80 Hertz, you might run into a little bit of noise with those tinsels. Gosh, it almost looks like that's actually touching on the rubber right there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get a better view of it. It's very difficult to catch this on camera. The tinsel does hit the surround. So you might run into some rubber wear on the uh, on the surround. Got the inverted surround, which is really awesome. And this one's got a little dent on the cap. It uh, must be aluminum. Yep. So it's an aluminum cone. It's an aluminum cap. It's got a little tiny dent on this one. That's going to happen with aluminum. Uh, pretty much anything. Aluminum is going to end up with a mar on it somewhere. Same thing with like a stamped basket. You're never going to get a perfect uh, perfect basket or a perfect aluminum cone. It's even got the Sundown Audio stamped in it. <laughs> That's legit. I absolutely love the inverted surround. What that means is basically you can put that sucker with a grill in your dash over it 
like right up against it almost and it will still perform. This thing is super chunky. So when you buy in this kit, you get two. This one's got a little bit of a, a little bit of something going on there on the motor, but see another dent. I don't know if you can see that dent or not. I would say that that's probably going to be normal. With these guys here, with pretty much any speaker actually, the larger uh, spade is your positive. Um, this one, it has it marked positive and negative here. Some speakers or tweeters don't. Just keep in mind most of the time, uh, the bigger one is your positive. So I noticed that it doesn't tell you what ohm load they are on the box. Um, I'm sure that there's some sort of a spec out there for it, maybe on their website or something, but I'm just going to go ahead and read it. Looks like we're sitting at a 0 0.2, 0.1. About a three and a half. Pretty typical, probably about nominal four ohm. For a quick reference, we have the Unity, uh, the Hybrid Audio Unity U2 2.7 inch. So these ones are the 2.75s, these are 2.7s. The Unity series, they, they really don't publish an RMS rating on these. They basically just say whatever they can handle uh, down to a specific frequency because with any full range speaker, it actually honestly depends on the frequency slash crossover that you're playing at them at is solely how much power they can handle. So these are the U2 sound quality drivers from Hybrid Audio. Um, the major thing here is these are 55 bucks a set. These guys right here are $180 a set. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys the difference between a higher end sound quality speaker and the Sundown Audio. These ones here have a plastic basket. What that does is that helps with... Uh, I don't know if you can tell the difference of hearing that. Also has a paper cone, same inverted style surround. You will see that, uh, that the speakers are very similar in size. Um, I would say that the Sundown surround is much larger, but with these kinds of speakers, you don't necessarily need a lar large surround. You just need to have good clarity. These ones are not typical as far as the spade terminals go. And as you can see, that motor difference, wow. They built this sundown to output 100%. All right, we got the whole set here. This is a V2 SA mid. Very awesome mid-bass driver. Got the SA V2 tweeter and the SA 2.75 FR V2. If you're gonna run active and you wanna run all sundown, this would be a fantastic setup. Put this guy up in the dash, this one over in the pillar of some sort, and this guy down in your door. I bet you this set would sound amazing. These ones by themselves, they sound fantastic. So I mean, adding that full range into there, that would be great. Hey, Yin Lu, what was that website again? Sundowaudio.com.